If you've ever walked or biked down a street or alleyway in D.C., you've more than likely probably seen a rat before. Our friends here in DuPont say that the rats are eating through their garbage cans, and they're hoping that the city is able to do something to stop the problem. They don't come with uh, switchblades. They use their teeth. The rats are gnawing through the plastic and creating these little holes in order to eat the garbage inside. Nick Deladon has lived in D.C. since the 1960s and called the DuPont neighborhood home for the last 30 years. He's seen all of the makeovers D.C. has had, and with every facelift, the rats survive. The city has gone through a number of generations of trash cans, and there have been short ones and tall ones and hard ones. Now, it's amazing what they can do chewing through the um, durable plastic. Nick is president of DuPont East Civic Action Association. The squirrels and birds don't cause too many problems, but in the alley where they leave their garbage cans, you can see holes galore. They don't discriminate. <laughs> they, uh, they might have a sensor to say that there's a smell in there that they, uh, something that they would go after. They've sent letters demanding action to the mayor, the entire council, the Department of Public Works, and others. They're asking for cans strong enough to withstand the rage of the rodents. It's related to a more serious problem, that is the rats. The, uh, there seems to be no way to get around them. If there's excavation in the area, it seems to stir them up. The letter was just sent out on Tuesday, so they haven't gotten a response yet. But they're hoping council will host a hearing to discuss a solution to the problem. If anything can be done at all to control the rat problem, certainly a good trash can would be part of that, and that's what we're, uh, our association would be interested in seeing. Reporting in Northwest D.C., Megan Rivers, WUSA 9. I mean